Hello and welcome to my channel. If you've been here before, welcome back. My name is Alfonso Peluso and I'm a studio associate professor in the College of Architecture at IIT, the home of the legendary Mies van der Rohe. Hope everyone is doing well today. I'm doing great. And today's video is going to look at PathMapper. A few days ago, actually on New Year's Day, I made a video on shark gills and we see that right here shark gills using grasshopper and that video really took advantage of what is called a path mapper and I'm gonna go ahead and place a path mapper out on the canvas here and you see this mysterious capsule here with the exclamation point so we're gonna dive into the basics of path mapper and also what that's gonna get you more equipped with is more equipped with using data trees or, or understanding how data trees work in Grasshopper a little bit better. So we're going to look at that in today's video. Before we jump into it, I want to remind you if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, go ahead and click on subscribe and once you click on subscribe, go ahead and click on the little bell to receive notifications. Trying to get 5,000 subscribers, very close, about 200 subscribers away. If you haven't subscribed, please do. If you have, go ahead and tell a friend that might enjoy the channel. Also, connect with me on Instagram at my first name, Alfonso underscore Peluso. See what I'm up to, see what videos I've put out, see what my students are producing. Lots of good content on there. I'd love to connect with you. All right, let's jump into this tutorial and we're going to look at Path Mapper. Now, with Path Path Mapper, we're going to look at how to simplify, flatten graph, flip matrix, remove or add a branch or what's called a path. And then we're going to look at a special item here called a cherry picker. Look at that. Can't wait to show you guys the cherry picker. All right. So we need some geometry on here to start with. So I'm going to make a rectangular grid because I know a rectangular grid is going to give me an output of that is an output where the data is organized as a data tree. So let's dive into that. So a couple things. From the very start, what should alert you that you have a data tree is you have a dashed wire connecting from the rectangular grid capsule to our best friend, the panel. I say our best friend is the panel because it really is, because the panel gives us so much information. So uh, it's very <laughs> good to us. Maybe your best friend isn't good to you, but the panel will always be good to you. Okay, so let's look a little bit closer at this panel and start to define some things here. How much of this panel do I want to show? At least, at least that much because what is a data tree? Okay, let's, let's define that to begin with. I'm going to use some scribbles. Okay, I'm going to put out a scribble. Okay. So a data tree. A data tree equals a list of lists multiple lists, a list of lists. So this is, this is a list, but within it is multiple lists. Okay, so here is one list, zero through four. Here is a second list, zero through four, and so on. I believe there's a total of 10 lists here. So we start counting at zero, so this is the 10th list of four items. Okay, so a data tree is a list of lists. All right, so that's one thing we want to define. I want to define a few more things here as we go. Okay. Right, another thing I want to do is I want to drop my bifocals. If you haven't downloaded the bifocals plugin, go ahead and do that because what that will do is if you're using draw icons, it place the name of the capsule above it so that you guys can see that. Okay, so Let's define some other things here. So I'm going to use a little draw tool. So this here, this zero semicolon, zero semicolon, zero. And it's actually inside some squiggly brackets. 
Okay, what is that? So that is something called a path. So let's bring out a scribble and we're going to say that this is our path. And a path is also equal to, some will call it a branch, a branch in a tree, data tree. So we're going to call that a branch path. Okay, path equals branch. Okay, we also have these items here. So we're going to make sure that we want to define those. Those actually, there's. I might have said there was four, but there's actually five because it's zero through four. So we'll add a scribble over here, and these are going to be our items. Okay, so to get started, that's that's all we really need to know. Okay, that a data tree is a list of lists. These are the paths, and these are our items. Okay, so let's let's get started with the path mapper. Okay, the first thing we're going to look at is we're going to look at simplifying. Okay, so I'm going to add a scribble out here and we will label this one simplify okay now grasshopper these first these ones that we're looking at today with path mapper i just want to point out that graph gra oh, <laughs> grasshopper has these options for instance if i right click and i go to simplify here you're going to see what you're going to see is you're going to change you're going to see this path structure change from zero semicolon zero semicolon zero to just one one zero in it so i'm going to just go ahead and do that okay so now you see so that's something simplifying and i'll put a link at the end of this video why simplifying is very important especially when you're using a loft okay so if these things are available why are we using them with the path mapper well the path mapper can do much more but I just want to introduce you guys to the path mapper and there'll be another video following this at some point that dives in deeper. So let me guys, let, let me know what you think. If you want to know more about path mapper, just let me know in the comments below and then I, I see how important it is to you guys. Okay, so let's, let's go forward with the simplifier. So we need a panel. Okay. So this panel is going to show us the same thing as above, but we want to see things change for us. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to double click on the path mapper. And the way this editor works is it wants a source and a target. So for the source, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to mimic basically what we have here with the branch or path structure. So I'm going to put in, and make sure it's a, it's a squiggly bracket. So you got to use the shift key above the, above the regular bracket. So we're going to put in zero, semicolon, zero, semicolon, zero. Okay, so that, that matches that uh, original, what's shown below, uh, what's shown here. Okay, all right. And in this next one, we're going to put in a squiggly bracket. And I could just put in zero, okay? So it's flattening or simplifying the, the branch structure. So I'm gonna go ahead and click okay. And you see there what's happened. Okay, now it's done something a little bit more, okay, than just simplifying it. It's actually simplified and flattened this down. Okay, and let's, uh, let's talk about what happened there. Okay, so what's missing in my structure right now, let me change this for us, is uh, I, okay, for I for item or I for index. Okay, I'm not sure if I need another item out here. That looks like I do. Okay, so let's add that in. I think that's gonna work for us. Okay. All right, and that's done something a little bit <laughs> even more different for us. All right, let's get this let's get this simplified working the way that it should here. All right, so 
here's the way that we're going to make this work. Okay, so we're going to put in our we're going to put in our variable, okay, and we'll have some fun with this. I'm going to type in here. I'm going to type in path because we've been calling this path, and I'm going to change this to path. Okay. All right. So here we go. That's what we that's what we needed. So what it needed was it needed the variable in there. It needed to identify something called we'll say path. Now this could be anything. This could be cat. So I can call this cat. Okay. It's not going to affect this. It's still going to work. So you can have some fun and. I don't want to leave out our dog lovers out there, so this could be dog, and then this would have to be dog. Okay, so that's that's simplify, and I think for now, since we're learning, the best thing is just to call that path because that's that's what it is simplifying. It is simplifying the path structure. Okay, so there is our simplify. All right, so let's let's go ahead and look at flatten. So I'm going to copy and paste this. We'll call this flatten. Okay, we'll bring out another path mapper. All right, we'll go ahead and plug this in. Get our best friend the panel. Okay, so what are we looking for with flatten? So flatten is going to make one single list. Not a list of lists, but one single list. So if I go ahead and right click on the cells output and choose flatten, you'll see now this is just one single list with all of the 50 items in it. Okay, so that's what we're trying to do. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and do a flatten. Okay, so I, let's look at doing this. I was going to do it from the simplify. We can do it both ways. All right, so let's go ahead with the flatten. So we're going to go ahead and put our brackets in, zero, semicolon, zero, semicolon, zero, and we'll close our squiggly bracket. And then just as we had before, we're going to flatten that down. Okay. Let's go ahead and click OK on that. All right, so that's that's flattened and it's also simplified it for us as well because our path structure has changed to zero zero. All right, so let's look at this. Let's look at this from the simplify mode. After we simplified it, we're going to plug this in. Okay, and we're going to type in. I'm going to type in path here. Okay, because that's that's our variable path. Okay, and that also has flattened it for us. Okay, so a couple ways to do that. Let's see now. We plug this directly in. All right, let's go back to we need our original. Our original path structure, so zero, semicolon, zero, semicolon, zero. Okay, so there is our flat. Okay, now what if I want to graft a tree? So what does that mean? What is grafting a tree? So that is taking a single list and turning it into a list of lists. So let's take that and we're going to type in Type in graph. Okay. We're going to use our path mapper. Okay, so I need one single list, which is what happened after I flattened it. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to graph this. It's going to panel so that we can see the result. Okay. Alright, so what are we typing in for graph? So our source text. I'm going to use the squiggly bracket and then I'm going to use zero semicolon and then my variable which is going to be path and then squiggly bracket and then I'm going to introduce item 
Okay, our item or index, I forgot what I called it above, but I probably called it item. Okay, item equals index. Okay, and then for our target, we're going to make this squiggly bracket, and this is going to be zero semicolon path. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to move my item inside. And which tells it take every item and turn it into its own individual list, essentially graph a tree from it. Okay, so now I'm going to type an item and then squiggly bracket. Now, I might not need this zero semicolon. That might actually throw it off because it's already been simplified. But let's see what happens there. Okay, just as I thought. So, because it's already simplified. This should do the trick. Okay, so that is grafting it, and it's taking each individual one and making its own list. Okay, so let me double click and just take a look at that again. So path, item is outside the path. Now we're moving the item inside the path. So each one of those is now a list. So that's graph. Okay. Uh, we want to look at something called flip matrix. Do I have? Yeah, I have it on the list. Okay, so we're almost done here. So flip matrix. So what is that exactly? Okay, so that's the organization of our cells, whether they're organized in rows or columns. Okay, and we can take a look at this. So at the moment, they're organized in four, or actually five, right? Zero through four is five. So here's one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so right now, they are organized in columns. What if I want them organized in rows? Okay, and let's, let's uh, look at this a little bit. Let's see here. That's the best way to look at it. I was gonna I was gonna go to that cherry picker. I know I'm gonna show you guys that one, but let's uh let's actually just do this. We'll do this through a, another another panel because it's our best friend. Okay. Alright, so now if I was to organize this in rows, right, there was gonna be the however many, I guess there's ten here. One, two, three, four. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I would have ten items, and then I would only have one, two, three, four, five paths. Okay, right now I have. Right now I have five items, but I also have ten paths. Okay, so we're gonna flop that. We're gonna flop it so that we have ten items, five paths. And you would do that by flipping the matrix. Okay, so let's let's copy the scribble here. Put that out here. We'll call this flip matrix. Okay, that's gonna be our flip matrix. And let's get out another path mapper. Okay, so here's our path mapper. So let's go ahead and plug that in and how am I going to flip that matrix? All right, let's take a look at that. So I'm going to double click on this. All right, now I want to keep this simple. So I'm going to use the squiggly bracket and I'm going to type in path and then the squiggly bracket. And then I'm going to use my parentheses and type in item and then close parentheses. So I should be able just to, to swap these variables. Okay, so over here in my target, it's going to be squiggly bracket, item. Okay, we're flipping the matrix, item. And then my parentheses. And then path. And my close parentheses. Okay. Alright, so we need to, we need a panel. Let's see what we got. Let's see if I need to simplify this or not. All right, so I'm gonna have to simplify that coming in. 
So we already have our simplify. All right, so let's, let's go ahead and plug that into our flip matrix. Okay. All right, here we go. So now we have our 10 items and we have our five paths, zero through four. So we've flipped that matrix the way that this data is organized. Now it is organized in rows of data versus columns of data. All right, last thing before I show you guys that cherry picker. Okay, what if I want to add branches? Because right now this is simplified. It's down to 0, 1, 2, 3. Now there are times where and I'm going to put a link to my loft video using data trees to loft at the end of this. There are times where we need to add or remove a branch. So let's look at that. Let's copy and paste this. Okay. So this is going to be add or remove branch. And we need a path mapper, and we need a panel, okay, and we need, let's take what's coming out of this flip matrix so we can compare these. Okay, remember we're trying to add to this branch structure, so right now it just says zero inside the squiggly brackets, so if I need to match another structure, maybe I'm doing a loft, and for loft those structures need to match. So for here, I can put in squiggly bracket 0, squiggly bracket, and I can put in squiggly bracket 0, comma 0. Okay, so now that branch structure is going to change. Okay, and if I need to add more, I can keep adding more. Sometimes you'll, you'll see, and, and you'll notice in Grasshopper, sometimes, sometimes the branch structures are a fairly deep four or even five depending on what capsules have been plugged in so you'll see the target is going to match that okay and now if I want to remove sometimes you have to remove removing is like simplifying but instead of bringing it all the way down to one zero maybe I want that to be three zeros okay all right so Hopefully you found this useful and this will introduce you to PathMapper. Oh, I almost forgot. Cherry Picker. Alright, so let's bring our Cherry Picker down. Let's take a look at that. Alright, I found this to be awesome. So I'm going to plug this in. Okay, so we're going to see on the screen we have all those red rectangles. Alright, if I want to highlight those red rectangles. <clears throat> okay, so here's the first rectangle. All right, so I can, I can scroll down here. That's going to be the first one. Now I can start to look at these different paths. So let's look at path number four. Okay, so there's path number four. There goes Rita. Rita came to say hi. She's barking away there. Okay, so that's path number four. That's index zero. Now if I use the scroll tool here, you see it moving live on the screen. Hopefully you can see that. So that's picking item 0 through 4. So this is why our understanding, this is one, this cherry picker is a great tool and you wouldn't really know how to use it if you didn't understand what an item is or what a path is. So let's change this to path number 8. Okay, and we can go through and I can select either one, any one of those rectangles. So there's cherry picker. Hopefully, hopefully that's going to be helpful for you in the future. Alright, so if you found this video helpful Go ahead and click on a like below if you have some comments. If you want to give me some of your input, I love learning from you guys. I learn from you guys. I learn from my students. Uh, if you know someone that will find this channel helpful, um, suggest it to them. Let them know it's there. All right. I will see you guys next time.